At the end of the day, I'm doing what feels right for me and chasing down my dream. Day traffic. It's nuts. Alright, so this is the hotel I'm staying at. It's the uh, Cirque Hotel. Hotel. Uh, there's no street parking at all. So I just uh, pulled the vet status Batman move and I just valeted wherever I felt like it. I mean, come on, if Batman never paid for parking, I'm not gonna start. It's not horrible, but this is a European size room and it is tiny. Car dropped off, checked on the hotel, back at the airport, dropped off the rental car, airport shuttle, back to the hotel, fly tomorrow. For anybody wondering how I'm able to fly like this, how I'm able to travel so much, get in bed with somebody, whether it's Air Canada, WestJet, United, Delta, Enterprise, Avis, all of 2023, I don't think I paid for a single flight. I just used points and different gifts that Air Canada gave me. So that'd be my piece of advice, but I'm exhausted. <laughs> for about two years. I've used Lounge so many times, it's like 80 bucks per drop-in, but the credit card I got with uh, who I used to bank with, it's like 600 bucks a year, you get unlimited access and then all the priority stuff. It, uh, it beats rolling with the other slaves. by BetterHelp. If you have followed my hockey journey for more than one video, you would know that I have faced no shortage of adversity the past couple seasons, whether it's on and off the ice. But one thing that I do know is that I'm just like you. And when I got some help over a year ago, it was one of the best decisions I ever made. And that journey started with BetterHelp. I think it's safe to say that I speak for most men when I say we are very hesitant to reach out and ask for help in even the most dire of circumstances. But if you wanna get some help, you have to start somewhere. And BetterHelp right now is making it easier and more accessible than ever before to do so. You simply sign up on your mobile device or your laptop, 
put in some information about your unique circumstances, and in no time, BetterHelp will have you match with a personalized licensed therapist to help with your unique situation. Now, maybe you're on the fence, money's tight nowadays, which, listen, I totally understand we're all going through that, but I'm gonna make it even easier for you to get started right now, and I'm gonna get you 10% off your first month of BetterHelp. When you click on that first thing in the video description, use the code TRAVSUCKS, T-R-A-V-S-U-C-K-S, Trav sucks. We'll get you 10% off your first month of therapy. And thank you so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. So I left Spain and I flew into Vancouver, stayed there for about a week, week and a half. Flew back into Winnipeg, my birthplace, where I met up with Wheeler. We recorded a couple episodes of the podcast and now here in sunny Fort Wayne, Indiana, which I owe an apology for the whole Spain thing and an explanation for why I'm in Fort Wayne, which I'll get to in a second. But I think the best way to sum up my Spain experience in as few words as possible is that when you care about success and have high ambitions and the people around you do not, they will very, very quickly get upset and resent you for that with the mindset of how dare you care more about that than I do. I am a professional, I just turned 28 years old, I've been playing pro hockey for the last four years. I have very high expectations and ambitions because A, I'm a huge guy, I'm 6'5", I know the shelf life of a pro goalie at this height is not super long. I wanna make the most of that time. And I also feel very useless very easily, very quickly these days especially. So I need to always be working towards something and trying to at least feel like I'm accomplishing something. And when I turn up to a team, there's no betting upon arrival in the team housing, absolutely nothing. When there's no tape, there's no, I mean, even water bottles to practice with, there's no skate sharpener, there's no bus for road trips, there's no locker room, you gotta haul your gear back and forth to and from the rink, and as well as you have four imports, which were great by the way, but then you have 18 year old kids, 18 of them playing on a team and you're playing pro hockey, like this is the furthest thing from pro hockey. I spent two years, the last two years in the FPHL, trying to climb the ranks, trying to climb that ladder, Detroit, upstate New York, or beautiful Biloxi, Mississippi. I was trying to get up that ladder as a goaltender, put in the time, be the third guy, be the backup, try to get some opportunity and be a starting guy. And in a world where it felt like everybody had the longest leash in the world, I had one opportunity, see you later half an opportunity, see you later. It just, it didn't feel like I was getting those opportunities. And don't get me wrong, I understand that is part of the game. Being a goaltender at the minor pro level, I think is the hardest job in the world because it's so offensive focused. There's no financial incentives or rewards for defense. So goaltenders are really on their own most nights, myself included. I'm not getting the opportunities that I want. So instead of spinning my tires in the mud consistently, why don't we go over to Europe, Spain specifically, in a league where it's gonna be a great life experience, also great weather as well. I love the uh, beach weather in Biloxi, Mississippi, not being freezing cold in the winter. And play in a league where I'll have an opportunity to play a lot of games, put up some numbers, and use that to, I guess, go the long way to climb that ladder back to the North American game. And like I said, I need to be working towards something. I, I wanna have a higher purpose than just showing up at the rink, right? Like I, I can't fake it. If I'm not having fun, if I'm not enjoying it, I'm not gonna do it and I don't play hockey or even make these videos for anybody else outside of myself. I love doing it and I wanna do it because I wanna succeed, I wanna make my ancestors proud and I wanna share a really cool universal truth through my journey through you in these videos. So for those reasons, I owe you an apology. I don't like going out to these teams and promise, being promised the world and showcasing those in the podcast and in the vlog about, hey, look at how awesome this is gonna be and then it flames out, it's absolutely disappointing and then you watching the videos are annoyed because I like to think the overwhelming majority of the people watching these videos, you included, want to see me succeed. I get it. There's a very vocal minority that are very upset and they want to see me crash and burn, which as long as I'm putting these videos on the internet, you're completely entitled to want that. I uh, was in Winnipeg, flew over to Toronto. By the way, the fall colors were absolutely fantastic. Love this time of year. In Toronto, over to Detroit, which that brought back some serious flashbacks, serious memories, because I haven't been in Detroit since I was in Motor City two years ago. So that was... That was kind of cool. From Detroit, driven down to here in beautiful, sunny Fort Wayne, Indiana, heart of the Midwest. I have some really cool, exciting stuff with the mic'd up videos coming up here in Fort Wayne. Again, I'll explain the whole situation in the next video. I also am about 2,000 subs away from hitting 100K, so please hit the subscribe button because that would be really awesome. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.